Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. November in the paper and ink card class, we're doing Christmas cards. This is card number one of our four card series. This class is November 18th at 6.30 p.m. in my Rolling Meadows home studio. All adult crafters are welcome to join my classes. For more information, check out KitchenTableStamper.com slash calendar. And if you've got questions about anything, you can email Marissa at KitchenTableStamper. Dot com. You can get this class kit along with the kits to make three other awesome Christmas cards with a $50 purchase before tax and shipping online at marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Just use the host code, place your order that's $50 before tax and shipping, and automatically when I close the host code, I'll send you the kits for all four cards. All right, so this is our first card. I love this little Merry Christmas dude. He features the Snowman Seasons Bundle. The Snowman Seasons Bundle is the Snowman Seasons stamp set. It's a photopolymer set. It's 12 pieces, and it coordinates with the Snowman Builder Punch. When you buy these two items together, you save 10%. I'm using two Every Seasons photopolymer stamp set for a little bit of accent stamping. We're gonna use the Merry Christmas and the three snowflakes from To Every Season. We're gonna accent even further with this candy cane stripe from Tiny Seasons Keepsakes. Now you can um, substitute these supporting images if you like. Any Merry Christmas and snowflakes you have will do. To Every Season's a really cool bundle though. Check it out if you, don't, if you haven't seen it. The Tiny Keepsakes, we're gonna stamp this candy cane stripe so you'll get a piece of very vanilla paper in the kit, but you could substitute that out for a different pattern, stamped in real red, or you could substitute that out for a piece of designer series paper. We're going to use the snowman, the Let It Snow Sweet Embellishment Kit here. In this kit, there are some awesome little felt pieces, hats, scarves, mittens in four different colors. We've got real red, flirty flamingo, coastal cabana. On my second little snow dude, I'm going to use the coastal cabana hat and scarf. There's also shaded spruce. And then in the kit, there's a little epoxy stickers with eyes, buttons, carrot noses, and little um, epoxy arms for your snowman. We're going to need those arms and buttons. Other items in the kit we're not using today though. There's this gorgeous snow white glitter washi tape and these crazy little snowballs. All right, let me get this kit out of here. Show you a couple more items you need to complete the project. I've already gone ahead and cut two and a quarter inch circle using my two and a quarter inch circle punch and I've already die cut a coastal cabana scallop circle this one is two and nine sixteenths it's the third largest layering circles scallop die ink for this project is early espresso and real red I'll need a pumpkin pie dark stampin blends the rest of the materials in the kit here include a piece of the Night Before Christmas Designer Series paper. This piece is two inches by three and a half. Got a scrap of very vanilla cardstock here. At least two and a half by three and a half. This is for stamping and punching our snowman. I've gone ahead and I've die cut my very vanilla label already. This is D, which makes it the third largest very vanilla rectangle, and that's three and fifteen sixteenths by two and five eighths, and I did that with the stitched rectangle dies. My card base is real red, and this is eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. All right, let's do some stamping. For my photopolymer stamps, I have a stamp and pierce mat, and we're gonna protect that stamp and pierce mat with some scratch paper. Let's grab our card base here. And I've got my three snowflakes from to every season. They're already on the block in a kind of a little triangle arrangement. And we're going to go ahead and just stamp right off the top right side here. And then in the bottom left over here also. 
just some pretty delicate detail for the background of our card. Now I've got my vanilla paper here and we're going to watch the orientation of our punch. Our snowman has got to go at the bottom of the paper with his bottom down. So we'll stamp him right there on very vanilla. Now let's get our stitched rectangle. We're going to do this guy next. This is Merry Christmas from To Every Season. I'm going to stamp that one right in the bottom right corner of our very vanilla. Such a pretty clean greeting. Slide that one to the side. There's our two and a quarter inch very vanilla circle. We're going to go ahead and ink up this candy cane stripe with real red. You want to really make sure that you ink up well. Then we're going to stamp our circle. Now you're going to only be able to stamp most of your circle. Don't be surprised by that. Your snowman will cover the gap. You need a little bit of real red touch up after you add your snowman to the bottom there. Got a real red stamp and blend just in case. We'll see how it turns out. All right, before I punch out my snowman, let me slide everybody aside. Let's dab a little bit of pumpkin pie in the little carrot nose there. And our stamping's done. Let's clear away the ink pads and the Stampin' Pierce mat. Okay, I've got my snowman builder punch. Let's go ahead and pop this dude right out. I love me a Stampin' Punch combo. There's our snowman. Now let's take some snail adhesive and put some of these layers together. Okay, the very vanilla goes all the way to the right hand edge here and high of center. Then our designer series paper over that. Next, let's Combine these two layers. I've got my very vanilla stripe layer, and we're going to put that on our coastal cabana. Then our snowman. Now, our snowman is going to almost entirely cover that little gap there. So I want to continue this thick line right here just a tiny bit. So just a touch of Real Red Stamp and Blend there to finish that pattern. Now we can put him on there. A little right of center. And we can adhere that layer to our card. He, he's such a cutie. Now, I want multi-purpose liquid glue. We're going to glue his hat and scarf. You can be relatively generous with the glue here. Don't cover his eyes. And then his scarf. Now just do the neck of the scarf because we're going to add the arms in just a second and we want to be able to tuck the arms underneath the scarf but still peeking out. So you'll notice there's two different arms here. Let me grab my take your pick tool. There's one that's got a little bend in it. We're going to take that one first. And that one is going to be his left arm. So you got that little dude. Let's make it peek out from behind the scarf. And then we've got this more straight arm. <laughs> flung right up to the camera tripod. How funny is that? That one's going to go straight out from his right side. Cutie. Now, I want buttons on my snowman that are shiny and raised, so we're going to cover the stamped ones with these little epoxy stickers. It's really going to add a bunch of fun texture and a little bit of shine to the super cute Merry Christmas card. All right, there it is. We're done already. And look at how awesome with all that 
felty texture and the gorgeous epoxies. If you've got any questions about the project or paper and ink card class, how to get it for free to go, when class is held in my Rolling Meadows home studio, whatever it is, reach out, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. To pick up these supplies that you saw today, you can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching.